Public Works is such a, a diverse organization. It has lots of different services, and our main goal is customer service, serving serving the public. And you know, in, in this time, you know, there's so much has changed in how we deliver services. But it, uh, the way that we have to deliver services requires unique methods, and technology generally is um, the most advantageous way to achieve that that goal. Uh, it, there's technology obviously changes dramatically, um, very rapidly, but it's also uh, such an amazing tool with so many diverse applications. So you kind of need to use it in any way you can to to promote the goal and mission of Public Works. The Division of Public Works pre-pandemic created the Environmental Enforcement Department in order to eliminate the illegal dumping that was happening around the city. It had gotten to the point where um, non-paying solid waste customers were dumping illegally and we were trying to enforce that. And so we created the Environmental Enforcement Department. And that was the key for us. Uh, you know, we had, we, I mean, I saw the need for environment enforcement to help us again address solid waste, but also uh, we're, we're tackling unique challenges. Uh, we're trying to improve quality of life. We're trying to have a clean city. You know, blight is a huge issue for Memphis in many cities. So this uh, opportunity with, with, it, with environmental enforcement really was a strategic opportunity that ultimately has made us be prepared as for the pandemic uh, in so many ways that it was actually beyond advantageous. It made us very proactive. They were able to go out and identify illegal dumping. We placed covert cameras around the city to try to capture people that were doing the illegal dumping and then prosecuting them. Leveraging new technology for Memphis Public Works is incredibly important to our mission and vision. Uh, you know, we are service driven. We are about, we, we have to respond to the needs of our, our citizens. And we also have to be efficient and effective in the delivery of those services. And new technologies are crucial because you can utilize them in so many different ways. Um, you know, with, between the AI machine learning opportunities that are becoming more and more common and incorporated into the services that we provide, uh, to um, the cameras that are out there capturing information and helping us mo not only monitor staff, but also uh, capture imagery that can be utilized in multiple ways. The Division of Public Works is using AI to, um, to identify the potholes in the city by placing cameras on cars and they go out and they take pictures of our city streets and they identify the potholes and that way we're able to go and fill those potholes without receiving the phone calls from the citizens telling us where these potholes are. We're trying to be proactive in that way. It's important to use this technology as we drive through the city to do other services, monitor the quality of the roads. And when you have a, a pothole, it automatically is reported back to City Hall and we can fill that pothole faster. This changes the experience for the Memphians on the roads because we're able to be proactive. We're out there filling the potholes, doing the work before the citizens are reporting that to us. And that's been very important to us. We're um, trying to be proactive. We don't wanna be reactive and we don't wanna wait for the citizens to report these to us. It's important for Public Works to find cutting edge solutions for their residents um, because we wanna be uh, predictive and not reactive. So when um, we're looking at a, a problem, we're looking at public works in general, we wanna find ways to get ahead of issues before they occur so that we can um, provide the best service for the citizens. It's important that public works departments find cutting edge solutions to our infrastructure problems because infrastructure's aging, the public demands high quality services, and we don't have as many resources. So we have to find the best, most efficient way to provide those basic core services. We are always trying to balance affordability with value. And so typically, if we don't find cutting edge solutions, we're just gonna put more money after the same programs that we've always done. And that costs more than a technological solution that can be much more efficient and effective. So it really is a balance of affordability and value and technological solutions deliver great value for our customers. Other public works departments can learn from Memphis this whole uh, concept of uh, data transparency. So we collect a lot of data. We try to collect data that helps us to be predictive and not reactive. We also keep ourselves uh, to a standard when we uh, collect data to ensure that we're uh, meeting the need of our customers and that we are, um, as a, a whole city entity, that we are doing what's necessary for public works to thrive. So we all work together in order to provide this 
seamless delivery of service for all citizens. Memphis is uh, changing the public's perspective on its road conditions by uh, being as proactive as possible by managing our, our infrastructure. Um, our roadways, you know, Memphis has 6,700 plus lane miles of city streets and 324 square miles. It's a big city, a lot of, a lot of area to cover. And if you, can, if you can utilize technology like this uh, on, on a large scale, you're not only being as more proactive, you're also improving the quality of our roads and thereby giving citizens the feel that they're getting the value of their taxes and that we are, the city's doing what it can to improve their quality of life.